Welcome to the XR Lab. This state-of-the-art facility is one of its kind for education in the UK. My name is Tom Lloyd and I'm the Executive Director for Skills, Innovation and Strategic Development here at Eastern Education Group. So the XR Lab is a multi-million pound facility that specialises in virtual reality, augmented reality, mixed reality and has artificial intelligence inbuilt. So it's a state-of-the-art cutting-edge facility for us here at Group. So at Eastern Education Group, one of our key drivers is to close the gap between education and industry. So having this facility, this technology, working with all our partners and stakeholders, it really does best prepare our students to work within the sector. My name is Giovanni Patania. I am the Architect Director at Winds of Patania Architects. So we, uh, we, we had different um, sources of inspiration for this project. So we took references such as the Tesla uh, factories, the Tesla Cybertruck, um, together with other uh, movie references such as Men in Black for the interiors, you know, black and white coloring, really minimalistic, um, the lighting of, of, of the space, you know, all of those were really key references to deliver what the, the, the client wanted and to deliver that wow factor that uh, you know, everyone wanted to, um, to have in this project. My name is Lorraine Moody and I'm the Group Principal for the University and Professional Development Centre at West Suffolk College, which is part of the Eastern Education Group. I think the XR Lab will transform education um, because it's state-of-the-art technology. It's moving so fast, it's, it's already moved beyond recognition of when we started. And that's developing at a rate of knots. Um, we're working very closely with a huge range of employers, uh, particularly in engineering and manufacturing. And we're working on how we can make engineering an accessible career that young people want to go in. We need to close some of the skills gaps that exist to make UK PLC what it can be, that vibrant manufacturing and engineering environment that's a really fantastic career for a huge range of people. My name is Ryan Windsor and I'm the Development Director at Windsor Patania Architects. Yeah, so going back a few years I uh, was lucky enough to attend West Suffolk College in Bury St Edmunds as a student. I studied um, IT and software development here, quickly realising that after graduating I wanted to go a little bit deeper onto the business side and I attended and did a business degree. Um, reason why I stayed here was because I knew the, the teachers here were fantastic, they gave a lot of time to the students, I could have gone elsewhere. But I also had opportunities to develop other skills um, that I was learning by being one of the, the governors of the college. In my opinion, this facility, the XR Lab, uh, will democratise the education sector completely. It will enable not just engineers, but other students to try and test new innovative ways of learning and increase their, their, their learning speed, retention, which is all you know, backed up by, by learning data and studies. Uh, giving them more opportunities hopefully to interact with industry, industry partners and get that, that taste of you know um, engineering, if we're talking about engineering, working with cars, Formula One etc, when they wouldn't really necessarily get that opportunity physically, especially you know because they get to learn in the virtual environment. I'm Richard Bridgman, I'm a founder owner of Warren Services. My involvement with the XR Lab isn't so much the XR Lab, but the whole college. That is my concern. I've been working with the college for many, many years now, and I give quite a lot of time to the college. 
Well, I go back many years because I was an apprentice and now apprenticeships are now being recognised far more than they were before. So I've really reached the goal that I've set out to achieve. My message would be to everybody, if you're thinking about engineering, is go out and get some work experience. Once you get into it, and then that leads on to hopefully an apprenticeship and nowadays a degree. I'm Andrew Ward and I'm a director of House Automation. Educating students is, uh, is a, uh, a requirement, um, obviously for the next, the next generations, but, but, but we have to make that, that relevant, we have to make that enticing, we have to make it exciting, we have to make it something that students want to come along and learn. The, uh, the traditional environments of, of um, in a cl classroom and reading books and all that kind of thing is, is, is absolutely fine for many subjects, but engineering is such a practical subject and, and the, the, uh, the facilities that the XR Lab provides in that regard means hands-on experience for, for students at, um, within the facilities of this, of this school, but, al but also those who perhaps can't get here for whatever reason. And the, the outreach possibilities of that are huge. I'd really encourage any engineer or budding engineer to come and see the facilities here. I think this is a great way to give an insight into the sector, the different career paths that people can pursue. It's an inspiring space and I think it would inspire people to pursue a career in engineering.